Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel No Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to download Checkpoint Gaia operating system and we will be creating a virtual machine which we will be designating as Checkpoint Security Gateway. So let's begin with the tutorial. The very first thing what we are going to do is we will be downloading the operating system from the checkpoint website instead of going to the checkpoint website and downloading the easiest way is to go to google.com and simply type checkpoint Gaia download from here we will select this option uh, this link you will click checkpoint r81.10 Gaia fresh install and what you have to do is simply you have to download it Downloading has started. It is around 3.9 GB file. It will take some time to download till that time. I will just pause the video So guys as you can see the OS is being downloaded over here now what we are going to do is We will open our VMware workstation and we will start to create a virtual machine Create a new virtual machine click on create a new virtual machine this option as default that is typical recommended one click next over here just click the installer and you have to browse the file locate the file where you have stored if it is in downloaded folder just browse the location and place the file over here then click next over here the you have to select the operating system as Linux and the version you can keep this not an issue Red Hat Enterprise Linux 564 bit click next then you have to give the virtual machine name we will give the name as checkpoint gateway and you can just define the location you can locate the location where you want to store this virtual machine after defining the location you will click on next it is asking you for the maximum disk size we will say 100 GB and click next over here let's customize the hardware and see memory is 1 GB you should make it at least 8 GB processors number of processor will be 2 and number of cores per processor will be 2 that is total processor cores will be 4 for now network adapters and all we will leave it uh, we do we need any extra thing no there is this is sufficient just what we need is we will need two more network adapters that we will be adding it later on close this and click on finish button let's power on this virtual machine now Over here you will be selecting the first option this is the initial configuration which has started for the checkpoint OS installation install Gaia on the system you will check this option and hit enter guys uh, over here as I told you that 8 GB minimum is the requirement for your laptop or a desktop 16 GB is the recommended one so even if you have 8 GB just allocate 8 GB for gateway 8 GB for management your things will work
The process will install Checkpoint Gaia R81.10 operating system and associated application. Do you wish to proceed with the installation? Click on OK and hit Enter. Which keyboard type is attached to this computer? For me it is US so I will say US and I will just hit Enter. It is giving you the detail about the disk space that will be assigned. So keeping this option as default, just using the arrow keys, you can come to OK and hit Enter. It is asking you for the admin account password. Let's configure the admin account password over here. After you have uh, typed your password and confirmed the password, click on OK. It is asking you for the management interface, Ethernet 0 IP address. Ethernet 0, let's uh, just go to the network design and let's see what is our Ethernet 0. It is in internal LAN, Ethernet 0 of the firewall gateway. It is in internal LAN and the IP address for this port is 10.1.1.1. So we are going to assign the same IP address over here 10.1.1.200 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 keeping the gateway as blank and you don't need to check that DSCP server on this interface because we don't need the DSCP server for now just say OK. It is saying you that the next stage of the installation process will format all your hard drives. Are you sure you want to continue? Just click the tab key to go on OK and hit enter. The installation activities has started. It will take some time. Till that time I will be keeping the video pause. Now it is installing the packages. Still it will take some time. Till the virtual machine is fully ready what I'm going to do is I will simply keep my video pause so that we can reduce the length of the video so guys you can see that installation is completed now it is saying that to complete the first time configuration of the system login from the console or connect using a browser uh, using your management IP address but before that it is asking you to reboot let's uh, reboot the appliance now the time the system is started we will again pause the video so as you can see now you got a login screen let's try to log in the username will be admin the one which we uh, you have seen for which we have set the password right the same password we will be putting over here and you can see that you are able to log in it is asking you that in order to configure your system please access the web UI and finish the first time visit before we proceed with the first time visit guys let me show you some basic CLI command if you remember during the time of the creating the virtual machine we have set one management IP address on port Ethernet 0 so let's see how you can check the interface IP address So guys, to check the interface 
IP address the command is show interface Ethernet 0 IPv4 address and you can see the IP address it is showing that is 10.1.1.200/24 the IP which we have configure moving on now it is saying that in order to configure your system please access the web ui and finish the first time visit so what we are going to do is we will be just browsing to the page and we will finish the first time that we have opened the browser and over here we are going to type the ip address of our virtual machine which we have created now that is 10.1.1.200 but before that now over here it is not accessible before that let me just add something let me take you to the setting over here and as per our network design this particular interface is ethernet 0 which is connected to vm network 1 if you see over here our network adapter is nat so what I am going to do is I will be customizing it and I will say you that connect to the net, VM net one and click OK. Additionally, what we will do, we will be adding this Ethernet one and Ethernet two as well, and we will assign them the VM network before we proceed with the initial configuration wizard. Let's go to the setting over here. And we are going to add network adapter. Click on finish. We will say network adapter 2. Let's go to network design. And that is Ethernet 1. It is a bridge network. So we will just say it is a bridge network. Moving on, we will add a network adapter 3. Click on finish. And as per our network design, network adapter 3 is connected to VMNet 2. Click OK. Now we will proceed to the initial configuration wizard, the first time wizard. We will open the browser and we will type the management IP address https colon double slash 10.1.1.200. Click on advance and accept the risk and continue. The username is the same which we have used for accessing the CLI also admin and the password which you have configured while creating a virtual machine. Login. R81.10 first time configuration. Welcome to the check first time configuration wizard. What you have to do is over here you have to click next. It is saying that setup how do you want to set up the deployment option. Continue with R81.10 configuration or you want a checkpoint cloud installation or installation from USB drive. Additionally, it is uh, giving you a recovery option that do you want to import the existing snapshot. If you have a snapshot, you can import it. But over here, what we are going to do is we will continue with the setup of R81.10. Click on next. Management connection over here, Ethernet 0 IP address. We have already configured during our initial setup that it is showing over here. Default gateway will keep it as it is for now. Click on next. Ethernet 1, uh, you can configure from here, but I am interested to show you how you can configure the Ethernet IP address through CLI because using a GUI it is straightforward, but I want to show you through CLI. And I, one more thing I want to show that Ethernet 1 we have added and it is giving you that Ethernet 1 option as well over here. So for now, I'm not interested. I want to show you through CLI. I will simply 
click on next over here it is asking you for host name it will say check mcp gateway gw it is asking you for domain name it is optional we will keep it as it is and proxy setting use a proxy server if you have a proxy server in your environment you can just check the box and assign the ip address but now we will click on next we, we won't be putting any of the things over here set the time since i am located in dubai i will be using my time location you can use your time location then moving on click on next here you have to be a bit careful it is asking you the installation type whether you want to proceed with security gateway and or security management as i told you there are two types of deployment a distributed deployment or as you can deploy standalone we are interested in distributed deployment uh, not for now we are not going for the multi-domain server we will focus on security gateway security management uh, over here you will keep security gateway and or security management option click on next now over here since we will be going ahead with a distributed deployment where we will have a separate uh, virtual machine for a checkpoint gateway and a different machine for checkpoint management server what you are going to do is over here we will keep checkpoint security gateway and we'll uncheck this box because we are creating this machine as a security gateway clustering uh, at the last when we will be completing the series uh, i will show you how to create a cluster and all uh, for uh, over here we will be using a uh, standalone gateway we won't be going ahead with, with the cluster environment so we will keep this thing as it is we won't check this box since we don't want to make this cluster for now keeping this option check automatically download and install blade contracts and everything click next it is asking does this gateway have a dynamically assigned ip address if we, in, in your real environment you have a dynamically ip address you can check yes but for our lab our uh, network design we are not using any dynamic ip address so i will keep this as no and i will click on next secure communication to management server uh, guys uh, at the time when we will be connecting our management server and gateway for the communication purpose we will need some secure key that it is asking for uh, when you will be uh, doing a initial set up wizard for the management at the time as well it will ask so you have to be a bit careful and remember this key so i will just put this key over here if you will see over here it is saying connect to your management as a service if you are using a management as a what we say on a cloud or something where this is more over when you are using the appliance over a cloud but since uh, in our case it is on premises we won't touch that option and simply we will click on next so just remember this uh, keys over here secure communication to management service activation keys you have to remember sic stand for secure internal communication sic stand for secure internal communication so that's the reason it is called secure internal communication keys or you can say activation keys click on next is saying that your device will be configured with the following product that is security gateway click on finish it is saying that this will start the configuration process are you sure you want to continue Click yes as this will take up to some minutes for the completion and as usual i will pause the video for better experience it is saying that you must restart the system in order to finish the configuration click ok to restart now i will click on ok and the machine will reboot and over here the first time configuration wizard will be completed so as you can see now the device is the machine is booted and you are to the login page let's log in and i will show you the gui So guys, this is the GUI, the web-based view of your checkpoint gateway. As you can see, 
network management over here you have a network interfaces dscp server host and dns option you can set up the static routes then you have a system management where you can set up your proxy time snmp mail notification network access and so many things you have a host access options then after that you have advanced routing and so on so definitely uh, as per our lab requirement we will be touching this interfaces and we will learn how to use these things over here but the most important thing is like before we conclude uh, with this tutorial let me show you one thing uh, as you have seen that uh, we have seen how to check the interface ip address right using show interface ethernet whichever ethernet uh, ip address you want to check ip address but i want to show you that how you can configure the ip address using cli let's log in So the command to set the interface IP address is set interface. We are going to set the interface one IP address. It's it's an at one. IP four address and what will be our Ethernet? Sorry guys, not Ethernet one. We are going to set the Ethernet. No no sorry, Ethernet one only. First we'll set the Ethernet one IP address. It will be one ninety two dot 168.0.200 and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 so basically this is the command syntax send inter set interface ethernet1 ip v4 address the ip address then subnet mask and you have to define the subnet mask hit enter uh, it's saying the lock is being acquired. You cannot execute this command. So, okay, fine. No problem. Uh, we'll just acquire the lock. We'll give the command lock database override. Okay. And then we'll use this command set interface Ethernet 1 IP for address 192.168.0.200 submit mask 255.255.255.0. The error which was shown that log database override that was because we are accessing through GUI as well. That's the reason. So we have override the log by giving the command log database override. So once this is done, then the another command which you will be using is set interface Ethernet one state on. Let me tell you why we are using this command. Uh, th basically. Uh, uh, you know that how to shut and no shut the port in Cisco routers or switches you give the command shut down no shut down similarly over here the command will be set interface the Ethernet a port number and the state on or off so we have turned on the interface over here uh, giving this command and finally you will save the configuration using save config command so just to summarize what I'm going to do is I will write down the commands which we have used in the CLI. So guys, what we have used today is very first command was show interface uh, the number whatever number uh, inter uh, IP address you want to check. So show interface Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 1. IPv4. Let me just write the syntax. So IPv4 address. So this was the first command which we have used. If you, use, uh, you want to see the inter, uh, Ethernet 0, then you will be typing Ethernet 0. If you want to check the Ethernet 1 IP for address, you will type Ethernet 1. Next command which, which we have used was to set the interface IP address, right? Set interface, whichever interface IP address you want to set, that one. Ethernet IP before address, then whatever is the IP uh, before address, you are using that one. And then subnet mask and the subnet mask 
basically i am writing the syntax because what you have to do is you have to remember the syntax only uh, ip scheme and all that is a different thing so i am writing the syntax over here then thereafter you have to turn on that interface right so you will give the command set interface whichever interface ethernet interface you want to turn on that one and straight on to on it or you can say off to turn off the interface finally you have to save the configuration Hit save config in case there is uh, the database uh, is a lock uh, being used by some other user in that case if you uh, need to acquire that then what you have to say is lock database override So guys, this was basically a summary. Uh, let me just repeat what we have done. At the starting, we have downloaded uh, Gaia OS from the website, uh, as I told you. But uh, since you have to go and find it in multiple ways, simply what we have done is we went to Google. We have searched for Checkpoint Gaia download and straight away we have downloaded the operating system. Then we created a virtual machine. We have done uh, the OS installation uh, thereafter. Uh, the OS installation was completed then we have run the initial setup wizard uh, and I have shown you the process what all things you have to do in that and at last we have done some basic CLI commands that was how you can check the interface IP address how you can set the interface IP address how to turn on or turn off the interface IP address and finally saving the configuration and if in case there is a database log how you can override that log that command also we have seen and finally the last thing which I will show before we conclude is if in case you want to see the IP addresses of all the interfaces then the command is so show interface all IP for address. Sorry guys, there was a typing error. The command is show interfaces all. And this will give you the IPv4 addresses for, uh, not only IPv4 addresses, the entire detail of that interfaces. Interface Ethernet 0, it is giving you the MAC address. Then it gives you the IPv4 address. And for Ethernet 1, it gives you the detail and it will give you the details for other interfaces as well so just let me add the last command as well it was show interfaces all so guys that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will be setting up our checkpoint security management server as well and we will be doing the necessary configuration and the initial setup wizard that's all for this tutorial guys. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.